Hi, this is Danny with Danikin Aquatics, and today I'm bringing to you the Cynodonis angelicus. Now I've had to completely dismantle this entire tank so that I could get video footage of this fish. He likes to hide during the day. Now they're super active at night, but during the day they don't want to be disturbed or seen. And they are gorgeous fish. Now they'll come out at night. Looks like he's a little bit scraped up from maybe a tussle with some of the fish in there. The kind of rocks that we have in there to provide the caves and hides that they like is lace rock, which can be a little bit sharp. But he's looking for another place to hide. And I love the black background of this fish with those white polka dots and the stripes on the fins. They're so beautiful. Now this was one of my holy grail fish. And this guy is about max size. He's about 7 inches. And he is beautiful other than his scrapes. He may have done that trying to get into some place where he could hide just a little bit better. These guys come from Africa, specifically around Zaire. They're super easy to care for as long as you provide the hides for them. They adapt to just about any water conditions. They prefer to have temperatures between 75 and 82 degrees. They prefer a pH of 7.5 or yeah, 7.5 to 8.4. So a little bit higher pH than some fish. They need a sandy substrate. Where'd he go? There he is. They need a sandy substrate because they like to dig. They're diggers. So pretty. Now these guys can be really spendy. So I only have one. And I've heard that they are not bred in aquariums. And since I only have one, I wouldn't know. <laughs> Where'd he go? There he is. They grow slowly compared to other aquarium catfish. So they don't like get big fast. It's taken a few years to get him this big. And these type of fish will produce sound that's actually that you can hear when they're disturbed. It's one of why they're called squeaker cats. Or he's part of the family of squeaker cats. But this is also called an angel catfish. And then the scientific names, the Cynodonus angelicus. And it's a species of the upside down catfish. He's really looking for a place to hide. It's like, let me in here. So these guys get super active at night. And um, they're omnivores, but you need to really feed them a varied diet. They need proteins as well as vegetables or plant-based foods. Now this was one of my, like I said, I don't know if I said it already, that one of my holy grail fish. I have wanted one of these since I first got into the hobby. I'd never seen one in person. I only found them in the Axelrod Atlas book. <laughs> and so, and I was always telling Kenny, I want one of those. I want one of those. And so when one of these came up at an auction, Ken bought it for me. <laughs> <laughs> if you like this kind of content, please consider liking and subscribing, leaving us a comment. We love to hear from you guys, especially about one of my very favorite fish in the whole world. I just love these guys. And don't forget to always love your fish. Bye-bye for now.